Hello and welcome to this video on conversations on consciousness. How to meditate. <laughs> now this is a very interesting uh, topic. How to meditate. How do you meditate or how does one meditate? Well, there is actually no right or wrong way how to meditate. In fact, you've probably been meditating your whole life without you even realizing it. Perhaps through ironing, cooking, Anything that allows your, your logical mind to be distracted is a place of meditation. Perhaps you love painting, it could be sports, it could be listening to music, it could be laying in bed in the early hours of Sunday morning just reflecting on your dreams. <laughs> it could be at work just eating the food and getting lost in that, in that dimension of tastes and, and smells and it could be make in you know state of meditation is a place perhaps where you're making love to your to your beloved, uh, your lover. You're in this different world, this different zone, where you're just your mind only. You know your mind and body and the feelings. Like, what is meditation exactly? It's it's a place where to med to meditate, of course, but to to reflect, to visualize, to tune in, to to let go and to empty your mind. For me, that's what meditation is, is about emptying your mind and allowing yourself to let go. Let go of anything that is not serving you correctly. There are many different ways to meditate and there's thousands and thousands of probably different practices, probably hundreds, but there are many different ways to meditate for many different reasons. Now it could be for relaxation, it could be for de-stressing, using breath by using visual visualization, and of course other ways to meditate are for like deep trance, by allowing yourself to be completely out of the way, to allow a, a knowledgeable guide to come through to speak, to give wisdom. Other states of meditation, for example, of getting very deep in meditation, like laying down and getting into a, a place for out-of-body experiences, for deep dreams, for creativity. The list goes on. There is no right or wrong way how to meditate. A painter can go into trance. For me, I start going to trance when I'm playing the gong. Like, well, not trance, but like, I'm just, I'm bodiless. It's just me and my hand just making the sounds on the gong, just vibrating the metal. Tuning into the gong itself and just feeling the vibrations, and just feeling at peace and enjoying the sounds. I'm really just getting lost in the, in the sound waves. But how to meditate is really it's switching off from the world around you and having time for yourself. That turning off the phone, turning off social media, turn off electrical things and just being back to nature. Nature is a good start. If you're new to meditation and don't know where to start, just sit outside somewhere, somewhere comfortable, warm. Or if you're not warm, then be inside. Sit in your favorite armchair. For me, I find what works is sitting in an armchair, comfortable armchair, turning off the lights, make sure you're comfortable and warm, no, no music, um, just having darkness or a little light, a little candle light, and just switching off and just allow my, my mind to drift. But I've done that for many years. For me, I think there's been a threshold point where I don't feel like I need to sit down and meditate anymore. But Everything is a meditative action through cooking, through cleaning, through listening to music, by showering, getting dressed, that I'm in the state of thinking and feeling and, and allowing enough time throughout my day to, to be relaxed. Driving can be very meditative, that I'm there at the wheel being very aware, but at the same time I'm, I'm thinking of things. Not daydreaming, but just thinking of things in my mind was I'm being very concentrating on the road and, and the things that I need to look at. And that's the same for everybody, even those that do drive aren't always focused on the driving all the time. They are there 
80% of the time. For me, I know that I'm there 80, 90% of the time. And there's a small percentage to me which is thinking and feeling about other things or just enjoying the moment or looking at the, you know, the countryside or, or, the, or the sky or, you know, the, the, the feelings of, of life and happiness and the way things glide and smooth and, and, fl and, f and, and, f and flow. <laughs> But meditation really is, for me and others, I believe, just get into a space of timelessness, weightlessness, with no body, with, with nothing, just being and experiencing what life has in that moment. It's important to reflect and be and when you sit down and give yourself your own time for you, then you allow yourself a, a true holiday for your spirit and your soul of your emotions to just relax just for a little while and to get some creativity, some inspiration, some excitement in your life, which allows yourself to be okay with life. <laughs> but how to meditate? You can do it by, by breathing. If you're feeling stuck, the mind wanders, the monkey mind. Your mind is a filter, that's why we dream. However, during meditation, it's important to allow thoughts and feelings to just pass through us, but not come into us and affect us really strongly. But allow them to just come by, make themselves present, and then go on by. And something may be stuck in your mind for some time, but then it'll come back. For me, when I meditate, sit down, I do start to be quite creative. I start thinking about something that I want to do and then I can't stop. It's having that self-control of like, okay, cool, I'm feeling that excitement now. I'm gonna go with it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some music or I'm gonna play the gong or I'm gonna do some recording. Do something creative just to share, just to, something I enjoy doing because it makes me happy. It's something that I, I want to challenge as well. But in that time of meditative space is, a time for me to just have a bit of reflection and inspiration and clarity uh, that when I do meditate I often get shown the things in life which I feel are important for me to focus on so if something I did wrong in the day or I did something which I thought wasn't at my best potential I can often reflect on it have my eyes closed and just like oh yeah, I, I did that today. Okay, thanks. Thank you, meditation. Thank you, mind, my mind, or my guides to allow me to be, you know, understanding about what's just happened today in this space so I can change it. So meditation for, for me is sitting down in silence, just switching off and allowing the non-physical realities, you know, of, of guides, of loved ones or relatives to come come forward and close and to communicate and say hey hey ladrin like you know we want you to be more creative or you know you need to start running and then i i'll be sitting there like running like yeah i, I need to go for a walk or go for a jog and keep myself fit like yeah you're right and it's taking action and that's one thing of coming out of meditation it's that we get this psychic stuff all the time but do we take action, you know? So you can get all this information and ideas and creativity and then when it comes to it, it's like, oh, yeah, I didn't follow through with my, like, my homework. <laughs> so, yeah, how to meditate. It's uh, do it in a way that is comfortable. Have your back straight. Breathe. And just focus on, on the non-physical, which is you, which is your soul, your spirit. And allow energies to come close that are safe and secure and happy and positive And call upon those energies that you, you feel familiar with. And things will come together nicely. Um, just have patience. And remember that when you do meditate, that no meditation is the same as any other. There are going to be some days where you sit down and meditate and you're going to get nothing. You're going to feel nothing. There can be other days when you feel, wow, I felt really, I feel really energized or positive or 
I really got something from that. And there are going to be other days where you feel like, ah, yeah, I feel karma. It's uh, not karma as in you've done wrong karma, but you feel calm. Karma, karma. <laughs> um, yeah, just, just remember that. That's something that I remember is that, you know, there was times when I almost gave up on meditating because there was times when I didn't get anything. And that, that's, that's the beauty of it, that's the excitement. And sometimes you have no idea what you're going to get. And that's, that's the excitement. That's the exciting part. So thank you for watching. Um, keep meditating or keep living your life in such a way. You don't need a holiday, just relax. And things will make sense. Things will be clear and you'll get the information that you need. So thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time. Goodbye.